As healthcare providers, you often encounter patients with asthma. It's our responsibility to encourage patients to adhere to proven treatment while fact-checking alternatives that lack evidence. Inhaled corticosteroids improve lung function, reduce symptom severity, and decrease asthma exacerbations by up to 50%. Long-acting beta agonists alleviate bronchoconstriction and relax bronchial muscles. Lapis can reduce the frequency of asthma attacks by an additional 30%. Biologics are significant advancements for patients with severe uncontrolled asthma. These are immunotherapies that target immune system components that mediate symptoms of asthma. Omalizumab is a monoclonal antibody that binds and blocks IgE antibodies. This reduces mast cell activation, histamine release, and allergic asthma symptoms. Omalizumab reduces the rate of asthma exacerbations by 25 to 50%. Dupilumab inhibits interleukin-4 receptor alpha shared by both IL-4 and IL-13. Dupilumab reduces class switching of B cells, IgE antibody production, and recruitment of eosinophils. Dupilumab can reduce severe asthma exacerbations by 40 7 to 70%. Anti-IL-5 treatments target and inhibit eosinophils, which mediate inflammation in certain asthma types. These can reduce asthma exacerbations by 50 to 70%. Patients might be curious about alternatives like homeopathy because of a desire for natural options or dissatisfaction with conventional treatments. Homeopathic products marketed for asthma include arsenic trioxide, sodium sulfate, sponge, and oriental cockroach. Unfortunately, there is no evidence to support homeopathic products for asthma. These do not reduce asthma symptoms, prevent attacks, and they can lead to worsening of symptoms or potentially life-threatening exacerbations. To be the best care provider, listen to your patient to understand their motivations and address their concerns with factual information. Assure them your recommendations are based on the best evidence to keep them safe and healthy.